So, on January 25th, I made this video comparing the benchmarks of Warhammer 3 to the benchmarks of Warhammer 2 and seeing what the difference was. All in aid of seeing if there was an increase in performance requirements for Warhammer 3. But I've since had a lot of people asking me to run the Warhammer 3 benchmarks again post-release. So that's what I'm doing here. You just saw me set up the options the same way as I had it before in the other video. To make sure it's all fair and the same, I've got no other programs running in the background as I did before as well. Let's see if there's a performance difference from my pre-release benchmark to my post-release benchmark. That's what we're trying to find out because there's been some controversy there. A few weeks ago, there was an article apparently reporting that their benchmarks pre-release and post-release of Warhammer 3 were drastically different and that something happened at release, some release day patch, has caused the game to be way worse in performance. This has led people to pointing the finger at De Novo, the anti-tamper software. They believe that De Novo was added to the game with the release day patch and that is what caused massive frame drops and performance issues to Warhammer 3. So that's why people have been asking me to do this again and why we're here right now. Last time I did this, the pre-release benchmark that it came to at the end of this very test that I'm doing now was 82.2. That is the result from my pre-release video on January 25th of this benchmark, 82.2. So will this test that I'm doing on the 3rd of March be better or worse? We'll find out shortly. We'll do the campaign benchmark as well, just to compare that too. So we'll either find that it's true, the Warhammer 1 Day 1 patch has caused some kind of performance decrease, or we'll find maybe that it's got a performance increase, or maybe it's just exactly the same. Either way, whatever the cause is, there's no denying that Warhammer 3 has had performance issues, and a lot of people have been struggling to run the game or have actually just upgraded their PCs to be able to effectively run the game, which is quite extreme having to do that for a single game, right? But it is what some people have had to do. But here's the result, 82 0.6 so basically the same as my pre-release benchmark which was again 82.2 make of that what you will all i can do is call bullshit on anyone saying that some kind of day one patch has caused a problem i've played on the post-release version since january 7th and i've played on the pre-release version right now and for me there is no difference and we're probably going to find the same thing in the campaign as well but that's just my experience, and my PC hasn't seemingly been affected by the day one patch. And I am by no means any kind of PC performance testing benchmark genius. I know very little of the subject. I'm just a nerd running some in-game benchmarks and comparing them. And I think all this nonsense of people calling for De Novo to be removed from the game and like it's going to save the game is just kind of silly, to be honest. Because guess what, fellas? De Novo is on Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2 and always has been. And I don't think either of those games have had massive complaints on performance, not to the point of the game being unplayable anyway. Yes, Total War is a very hard game to keep a steady frame rate on. When you zoom in and zoom out on things, it changes a lot. So yes, there is some issues, but a lot of the times it may be due to people's PCs or the way they run their PCs that are actually more of a problem than the game itself. I can understand why some people don't like DRMs like De Novo. They can limit your access to the game and they have been known to decrease performance in games in the past with some testing, but that can sometimes be the case if it's just done badly and can very often be fixed. So I don't think anything coming with the day one patch has caused a problem here. If De Novo was added in the day one patch, it wasn't a problem at all to me, as you've seen from these benchmarks. I think it's more the problem with Warhammer 3 itself. The game has become more advanced, it's got some new graphical tech in there, making it a little more demanding all round, coupling that with maybe some poor optimization, and well, you've got bad performance. So it's probably the optimization and things that need to improve. Here's the campaign benchmarks anyway, 71.2 for the post-release benchmark, and what was the pre-release, I hear you cry? 71.6. So again, virtually the same. So make of all that what you will. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the future.